what is up guys, Phoenix here, and before we jump into this rat's nest known as Kaneki's hair, we're going to be finishing up the mask from our Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul Pixlar tutorial. So this is part two. If this doesn't look familiar to you, you probably want to check out part one of the Pixlar tutorial and make sure you catch yourself up. But for those of you who are on the correct video, let's jump right into this. So what we're going to do is work on the left side where we have these coil thingies on his neck. But what I want to do first is get the rest of his neck set up to outline the mask. So we're going to go to this long stretch right here of about 20 blocks on the left side. Let me just outline it for you to see. And we're going to go up and to the left from there. Eight vertical. So placement block. And then eight black hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And like I say, usually it's okay to use black hole and not black hole. But for this pixel specifically, a lot of his inside filling is going to be black wool. So I would use coal for the outline. Anyways, from the eight vertical right there, we're going to go up and to the left, five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And this is kind of where the mask, bleh, the mask actually starts. And some of it is going to be outlined right now, like I said, so that we can jump into the cogwheel thingy on his neck. So what I want to do is go to the bottom two blocks in that five vertical and put one to the right of each of them, like so. Then go to the bottom one block and put one to the right of that. And then from there, we can continue to mask if you want by going like down to the right one single and continuing down with a slant. But we're not going to do that yet, so we're just going to mark it. We can come back to it later. From the five vertical, we're going to go up and to the left, four singles. Actually, let's go five singles. I think we can extend it up. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then after that, we're going to go up and to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left, three single. One, two, three. Then from that three single, we're gonna go up and to the left, two vertical again. Up and to the left, five flat, I'd like to say. Let's try that out. Let's try that out. If it's wrong, I'll fix it. Three, four, five. If it's wrong, I'll probably edit it out. You'll never see this. <laughs> but anyways, from that five flat, what we're gonna do is go to the second to last block and put one above it for later. So you can mark it. We'll come back to that later. We're not doing that now. What we're focusing on is the below area right here. So what you're gonna do is go to the end block in that five flat now and go down into the left three flat. One, two, three. And on the final block in that three flat, so this one on the left, we're gonna do two things. First, above it, we're gonna put one, and you can mark that for later as well. Then below it, we're gonna go down into the left from it, four single pieces of black wool, and this is going to start continuing into the little thing on his neck. One, two, three, four. After that, we're gonna go down to left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And what I'm just basically doing is getting the outer shape done, and then we'll focus on the inner shape of the thing. So from there, we're gonna go down into the right now. So on the right side or underneath is where you want your placement block. Either is fine. Four vertical again. One, two, three, four. Down to the right, five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Down to the right, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And we're very close to the end right here. So all we're gonna do is go down to the right, three vertical. And then close this gap by going down to right two vertical. One, two. So if you want now, you can get rid of those extra placement blocks that you just added in. So just fly up this thing and do that. And we now have the outer shape done. But what we need is the inner detail. So we're going to jump right into that baby. And what we want to do is go to the four single on the right. I mean the left, sorry. Where we did the left part of the frame. And now we're going to go down into the right from it. Okay, it's gonna be like a skin tight tracing of it. So we're gonna go down into the right, the same numbers that we did on the left side. So it's gonna be four, four, five, four, three, two, three. Except we're going down into the right this time. So let's just mirror what we have on the left side. So first we're gonna go down to right four vertical, as you can see. Then you place some block and just make it equal the length that you have on the left side right here. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. See, it starts exactly at the top and ends exactly at the bottom. And just keep doing that and follow it down. I figure I don't need to give you exact numbers because it stops at the diagonal of the next segment. It's very easy to follow along here, guys. And just watch the right cameraman if you need to. It's very, very easy to do. And once you hit the bottom, 
which the bottom is actually the three vertical, the final three vertical right here, will stop. One, two, three. So once you hit the bottom, it should look like this. Let me just zoom out so you can see. And if you didn't understand what I was doing there, please go back and just re-look at it. It's very simple, like I was saying, and I really don't think it needs any more explanation other than that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the right side or the right center where we have these dirt blocks waiting and work with those. So like we did on the other one, we're gonna work with the left side first and then the right side. So for the left side where we have these two vertical dirt blocks, we're gonna go up and to the left from them, three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. We're then gonna keep going up and to the left, so put your placement block on the left or top each time. Four vertical, one, two, three, whoops. Three, four. Up and to the left, three vertical, three times in a row. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, I messed up again, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. And just to close out the shape, because we're almost at the top, we're gonna go up and to the left, four vertical. Up and to the left, three vertical. One, two, three. And just to reach the top now, we're just gonna go up and to the right, three vertical again, which should touch the ceiling. One, two, three, which it did. So now you can go back and delete those left side dirt blocks. And in my case, one light blue wool that you accidentally put. And we're gonna move on to the right side. And the right side is where we have the three vertical waiting for us with this dirt. So what you're gonna do there, it's gonna be a little bit closer than what we have over there, because over there looks a lot cleaner, but over here it's gonna be a little bit messier. So just follow closely. We're gonna go up and to the left, three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the left, four vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three, four. Place some block on the left side. One, two, three, four. I'm already almost halfway there, so that's pretty good. We're then gonna go up and to the left, three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three, place some block. One, two, three. And to close out the shape now, we're just gonna go up and to the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And then up and to the left, three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three. And connected with the three vertical we already had already, so that's why we don't have to do the second one. But as you can see, if we were to go up and to the left three times, three vertical two times in a row, we'd have the one right here, and then the second one right here that we already placed when we were doing the left side. So that's it for the inner wheels. I mean, the inner thingy. I'm gonna call it like the cog wheel or just the circular disc thingy on his neck. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Sorry. But we're not gonna do the shading on it yet. We just wanna do the framework. So now we're actually done with that thing. Let's go at, um, to where we have this one single. I wanted to get the right um, side of the jaw done. So we're gonna go to where we have this one single. And we're gonna bring that down into the right to complete the jaw. I'm very disorganized right now. Sorry if I'm like stuttering through some of it. But it's like I don't really know what I want to do. And sometimes what I want to do, I just change my mind halfway. So anyways, from the single, we're gonna go down into the right. Two flat. And since we're going down into the right each time, put your placement block underneath or to the right. Every time I tell you to place some blocks. So we're gonna go down into the right. Four singles after that. One. Place some block. Two, three, four. Down into the right, two flat. One, two, place some block. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, two flat again. Down to the right, two single. One, two. And let's go back and delete some of these dirt blocks because I think I have more than 10 just stockpiled here. It's really gross looking. Whoops. Anyways. From there, we're gonna be switching over into a lot of flats. We're gonna go down into the right, two flat, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 times in a row, so that's a lot, but that's not even the bottom yet. So two flat just like this, touching the diagonal, and we're gonna do that 11 times in a row. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm just gonna take my time and go back through this now. 
and get rid of each of these blocks. Now for the bottom part of the jaw, before we start going up and to the right to get to the other side of the face, we're going to go down and to the right nine flat pieces of black wool, or coal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's the center. So from there, we're going to be going up and to the right and hopefully reaching the right side of the face if we're doing everything correctly. So let's see if we're doing everything correctly. What we're going to do is go up and to the right now, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat, three times in a row. So two flat just like this, and we're gonna do that three times. So this is one, that's two, and that's three. Now what we're gonna do is go up and to the right, three singles. One, two, three. Up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row. Let me just zoom out so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. Make sure you pause the game if you need to, I mean the video, to make sure yours is caught up like this. And if it's not, you might want to go back and make sure it is. From there, we're going to go up and to the right, three single. One, two, three. Up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, five single. One, two, three, four. Five. Up and to the right, two flat. And then up and to the right, one single. And that's it for the jawline. Now, how do we get it to touch the rest of the pixel art? Easy, we have to finish the neck. And if the neck is correctly placed, it should touch when we go up and to the right from this straight line, six vertical. So put your placement block on the right side and go up and to the right, six vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if the final block is touching like this, that means you did it correctly. And as you can see, we've connected the jaw to the neck, so it looks pretty well done. Now we just need to do the right side of that thing on his neck, and that will actually be evened out pretty much. So what we're going to do from that six vertical now is we're going to go up and to the right four vertical. One, two, three, four. We're then going to go up and to the right seven singles, I believe. Yeah, let's try seven. So placement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're basically what we're doing is the same thing we did on the left side where we framed out the top of it and then brought it down. So let me just actually make sure it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> and now we're gonna up and to the right from there, two vertical. Up and to the right, two single. One, two, let's just go back and delete those door blocks. From that two single, we're gonna go up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And this is just the top of the layer like we did over there. We still need to go down into the right and kind of curve it back inward. So we're gonna go down into the right from here, four flat. One, two, three, four. And actually what we did on the left side is we did leave some markers with dirt so on where we're gonna continue next. So let's do that real quick before we finish. So on the five flat we have over here before, we're gonna go to the second block and put one black wall above it and then mark that one. And on the four flat we have over here, we're gonna go to the final block and put one above that and mark that. So we'll come back to those later, but for now we're not working with them. From the same last block in the four flat, however, we're gonna go down into the right one single and then down to the right, 14 vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now it's time to curve this down into his shoulder. So what we're gonna do is go down into the left, four vertical next. One, two, three, four. Down into the left, two vertical. Down into the left, four vertical again. One, two, three, four. Down to the left, two vertical. Down to the left, four vertical. So just put your place mark underneath each time. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go down into the left, three vertical. And we're almost at the base of the shoulder, so just follow along carefully. Just to finish off the shape now, we're gonna go down to the left, two singles. One, 
too. And as you can see, it touched at the diagonal to finish off the shape. And now we just need to do the inner details. So for the inner details, let's go back up to where we have the 14 vertical. And we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So all we're gonna do is mimic everything we did on the right side to the left side up until about the three vertical points. So let's just do that. So we're gonna go down to the left, start at the same point, and we're gonna end at the same point. So just bring it down 14, down to the left. We're gonna start at the same point, bring it down four. Same thing again, down to the left two. And remember, I said we're gonna keep tracing it like this until we reach the three vertical. We haven't reached the three vertical yet, so just keep going down to the left, four vertical now. And now we're at the three vertical, so do that one, down to the left, three vertical. Except there is where I'm gonna give you a little bit more instruction just so you're a little bit more safe. So after that three vertical, we're gonna go down to the left, one single. And then down to the left, two vertical. One, two. So this is the first part, but now we need to do the center fold. So for the center fold, we're gonna stick along this bottom part right here where we have this five flat and go to the final block. So this is the five flat we're working with. Look where I marked it and go to the final block. From the final block, we're gonna go up and to the left and up and to the right, two vertical from it. So over here, two vertical and over there, two vertical. As you can see, up and to the left and up and to the right. Now the left side is gonna be symmetrical to the right side. So whatever I tell you to do, we're just gonna kind of do to each of these. So to each of these two verticals, we're gonna go up and to the right, three vertical. So up and to the right, three, up and to the right, three over here. So do the same thing to each of them. It's very easy to do. Up and to the right, three vertical again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up and to the right, four vertical, two times in a row. So one, two, three, four. Place and block. One, two, three, four. And I'll do that to the other one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They should be starting and ending at the same point. That sort of just makes it easier to know if you're doing this correctly. Up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now to close out the shape, we're gonna go up and to the right, five, four, then two. So let's just take it slow. Five vertical, one, two, three, four, five. Right side, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, then two. So let's just go up to the right, four vertical now. And then two vertical. And we did reach the ceiling on the left side. So let's try that on the right side and see if it reaches the same thing. So four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, perfect. So now let's go back and delete these extra dirt blocks that are in our way. We do not need them there and they just take up space. Also, it makes it look ugly. All right, now from there, let me just zoom out and show you how it's supposed to look. Actually, you can see it on the right-hand screen. You don't need me to zoom out. So now going to the left side of the mask where we have these dirt blocks starting us off, we're gonna work with the first one we put, the one on the right. And what we're going to do is go up and to the left from it, two more single pieces of black wool. So, one, two. So you should have something that looks like this, and it should end over the second to last block. It shouldn't end over the final block, it should end right here. From there, we're going to go up and to the left, three vertical. So this is going to be a lot of verticals as we fix the mask shape, because the mask is a V shape, but it also cups the eyes. So from the three vertical, we're going to go down to the left, two vertical right here and then we're gonna go down at the left one single just to close out that shape right there but then we're gonna go back to the top of the three vertical and we're gonna actually continue from there so from the top block we're gonna go up into the left so put your placement block to the left or top two vertical up into left one single up into left three vertical one two three up into left two vertical one two up into left one single and if you zoom out and look at the pattern we just did it's actually going to be three two one three two one <laughs> excuse me um what we're gonna do is we're going to go
What we're gonna do from there after the three, two, one, three, two, one pattern is we're going to go up and to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left, three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the left, two vertical, then three vertical again. So we have two, three. We're gonna continue with another two, three. So one, two. One, two, three. And from there, we're gonna actually start curving inwards for the eye patch. And also we're gonna curve in just so we can meet with the right side of the pixel art, which we haven't developed yet. So we're gonna start going up and to the right, two vertical. And from the bottom block in that two vertical, we're gonna put one to the right, and that's gonna signify our split. The top right here is gonna be where the eye patch continues on to, while the bottom is where the rest of the mask or the part that clips to his nose continues. So from the top block right there, we're gonna go up and to the right, two vertical, and that's gonna mark for when we're doing the other part of the eye patch. But for now, we're gonna be going to the bottom right here, where we have the two flat on the bottom, and we're gonna go down and to the right from it two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. We're then gonna bring it back up by going up and to the right two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. So you should have something that looks like this. And it's gonna start cupping the eye soon, so we're just gonna keep going up and to the right, so which means put your placement block on the right side, four flat. Up and to the right two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. Up and to the right three flat. One, two, three. And you can go back now and delete these extra dirt blocks. They're starting to pile up a little bit too much and I don't feel comfortable with those. We're then gonna go up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. And we're reaching the end of the eye patch soon. It's gonna curve upward and into the eyeball. I'm not the eyeball, the bang that he has from his hair that goes into it. So we're gonna go up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat. One, two. Up and to the right, three flat. One, two, three. And then up and to the right, three flat again. One, two, three. Now from there, we're gonna go to the final block in the three flat. And we're gonna go two below it. One, two. Because the eye patch does kind of melt in with the bang on his face, whatever it is called. Um, I think it's the bang. <laughs> I'm very bad with words. Anyways, we're gonna go down to the left from there next. Two vertical. One, two, and let's actually test if we're lined up perfectly with where we need to be. We're going to go to the bottom block in that two vertical and bring it to the left with our marked placement blocks and let's see where we line up with. Yeah, so if you line up with this two vertical that's right before the one single, you're doing it correctly. Otherwise, um, let's just continue. Um, we're gonna go down into right next, one single. Oops, I flew. Up and to the right, two single. One, two. Up and to the right, two vertical, two times in a row. And like I said, the bang just interrupts the, the mask piece, but we actually can jump right back into the mask. So once we hit a certain point, we're gonna split off and continue working the mask. Um, we're not gonna stay here for too long. Anyways, from that two vertical, we're gonna go up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. One, two. And I actually do think that's a point right there that we can jump right into the other part of the mask. But let me just zoom out for a quick second and check this out. Um, we might actually end up doing the left side, I mean the right side, because some of this part is getting a little bit difficult for, until we um, hit the shading. So let's jump into the right side and bring that part up, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Because some of the mask doesn't actually touch yet. We're actually gonna need to do more of the hair first. So we're gonna fly down to the right side and continue. So now coming to the right side where we have this one single with the dirt waiting for us, we're actually gonna rise up and do the rest of the mask from there. So what we want to do is go up and to the right. So put your placement block on the right side each time. There we go, three vertical. And I think this is the right spot. Um, up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two vertical, two times in a row. So one, two, one, two. And now we're almost at the ear and stuff like that, but we're not worried about that. We're worried about finishing the mask. So we're gonna go up and to the right, one single again. Up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And let's go back and delete these extra dirt blocks. So we have 
312213. From there, we're going to go up and to the right. Two vertical, then three vertical. One, two, placement block. One, two, three. We're then going to, let me just delete these real quick. So we have one, three, two, three. We're then gonna go up and to the right, two vertical, three times in a row. So placement block, one, two, just like that. And we're gonna do that three times. That's one, that's two, that's three. We're then gonna go up and to the right, four vertical. Up and to the left, two vertical. And from the top block in that two vertical, we're gonna put one to the left. There we go. Now bridging off to the left side, what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna go up and to the left from there. Two flat, three times in a row. One, two, three. We're then gonna go up and to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two flat, three times in a row again. One, two, three. And here's where the numbers are getting bigger. We're gonna go up and to the left, seven flat next. And this should start being right below the eyeball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up and to the left, six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up and to the left, seven flat again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go back and get ready these dirt blocks. And as you can see, we're almost at the center part, which is gonna have like an arch part for his nose. And then we'll have to call it there. We might call it a little bit before that, but we're just trying to get as much detail packed in as we can. Because at the next part, I wanna do something else, or at least be able to be close to starting something else. Anyways, from here, we're gonna go up and to the left, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up and to the left, two singles. And hopefully you're able to follow along on the right hand camera screen to see where you should be at this point in the pixel art. Going to the left side, we're going to go up and to the left, three flat. One, two, three. Up and to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two flat. And then we're going to transition that two flat into a three, two, one, two pattern. So we're going to go up and to the left, three flat then two flat, then one single, then two flat again. So we have three, two, one, two. And that's just one part of the arch in his nose. Now we need to go back down and curve back up. So we're gonna go down to the left, two singles, down to the left, three flat, one, two, three. Down into the left, seven flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just about the halfway point with that seven flat. But now we need to curve back up with it. So we're gonna go up into the left, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. Up into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Up into the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And that's actually the center part of the nose's completion point. So let me just get rid of all these dirt blocks right here. We're gonna stop the video right there and we'll continue with more of the mask or even the eye detail next time. Maybe even do the eye patch. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this part. We were able to get the things on his neck done along with the majority of his mask. So we don't, we need to do the teeth and stuff like that as well. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. This is Phoenix and as always, I'll see you guys later.